one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Motion to move the minutes the last meeting. All right, we'd like to make a uh, case bill. Yeah. Correction to the minutes of the last meeting at the George Connors position should run through 2017, not through 2016. Well, now, wait a minute. We would do that with the motion that she brought to our attention here, right? So... Well, we have to... Well, we can do it now. I don't know if we can do it then. All right. I'll, make, I'll second the motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion to approve item 5. Listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion to approve item 5 by Commissioner Jim Greco, second by Commissioner Hall, approve the electronic transfers, cash disbursements. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve item number 6 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, second by Commissioner Hall, approve the summary request for payments. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item number 7. Is listed on the agenda. I will second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, second by Commissioner Hall, approved item 7 on the agenda. To approve the hiring of Alan D. Grick from Montrose. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 What's that got to do with 9? We just hired him. We hired him and he quit. So, we got to pay him for the two days. Is that what this is? <laughs> so it isn't like he quit from part time and we hired him full time. No. Yep. Must Most be a tough job. Item number eight is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, second by Commissioner Hall, approve item eight on the agenda for the recommendation of Board and Shelf. Questions or comments? So now you just have another opening for part time officer? Part time, that one. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item number nine is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by <coughs> Commissioner Jim Greco, I'll second by Commissioner Hall, approve item nine on the agenda. Hiring of Joan Roberts and Montrose to the part time position of kitchen steward of the jail. For well, wait, but well, she's going to cook, isn't she? Right. Well, I see kitchen steward. That's what it is. That's what they're called, kitchen steward. That's what know. the cook is? That's what the cook is. Maybe she's the head cook. Okay. That's what they're called. Huh? All right. <clears throat> How come there's a new name? It's just the terminology they're using now. Because the old terminology was uh, called them. Made too Matrons. much sense. Matrons. Maybe they call them a cook because they cook. Can you imagine that? No, well, they were called matrons. They weren't called cooks. <sighs> Well, it's like maintenance guys. They're called maintenance engineers, right? right? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved. Ten. I second that. Motion by Christian Jim Greco, second by Christian Alfred, for item ten. Uh, hiring of Matthew Lablock of Susquehanna to the part-time position of corrections officer for a warden shelf. Questions or comments? Now, how many part-time guys do you have, or women, in the jail? Um, Seems like it's one after another. He's got two or three right now. Yeah. But the total complement of part-time is going to be ten. Huh. All in favor? Aye. Motion to approve 11. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, Senator Commissioner Hall, to approve item 11, hiring of Alex J. Anderson and Montrose, the part time corrections officer for board and show. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Motion to approve item 12. That's listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, Senator Commissioner Hall, approve item 12 on the agenda, hiring of Krista Merritt of Uniondale, the open part time. Corrections position for warden shelf questions or comments. It sounds like it's all new people. Like what's going on? I mean, well, so many new part time. Remember at the last meeting we approved five new part time positions. Oh. And now they're filling. Oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thirteen. Thirteen. Full time training. That's not going to open another sergeant position, right? She's going to keep doing both. Just. Well, she's a sergeant. <laughs> we added one more sergeant at yeah. the last meeting, so. They make them what are we going to pay her? $16 per hour. It's written on mine. It's written on mine. Mine too. $16. <laughs> it's not. What she make it? Is that what the warden recommended? This is per the recommendation of the warden. All right. Because of additional responsibility as being training officer is above and beyond. Motion to approve item 13 is the on the agenda. Well, do you I'll want to pay her more? Is that it? Than 16 an hour? 
No, we don't pay more than 16 an hour. That's fine. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item number 14 is listed on I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, <coughs> Commissioner Hall, to sign the guaranteed maintenance agreement with Guyette for the recycling center hmm. for $144. Questions or comments? So, what do they have to do? Well, they come up with any maintenance that has to be done on the system, keeping the system operational. It's the phone system. All oh, phone is okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 15. They're actually going to do the roof? No, this is for all the engineering work, putting it out to bid, doing all the bidding and getting all that work done. Drawings, permits. Hmm. This is the one that we had the original price through uh, the other company for $100,000. $14,800? Mm-hmm. For them to figure out? <laughs> well, as I just figure out, it's all the drawings, all the permits, everything. To fix the roof? To I'll draw the roof for you. To replace the roof. <laughs> Well, if you got well it. that's my point. They're not, are they going to do the work? No. Are they going to replace the roof for 14A? No, they're doing all the design work and all the drawings. They have to go to COG, get approved, so we get permits to do the work. Can't you put... $14,800. That's a lot of money. Can't you put high school kids on this project? No, it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe a guy that the true for Fruhan or all these roofing guys we use, they can come and say, you need the roof replaced, it's they know how to do it, here's what it's going to cost. They don't know how to do it because the problem with this roof is this roof has structural issues where it has to be repitched, so it can be done. And is that the reason it has to go to college? Yeah, because it's going to change it. This is the one that has all the units on. The units got to come off. The all the, uh, the yeah, I understand, I understand the units got to come off. Right. But that will be part of the price that whoever fixes the roof. Right, but the units that are coming off are holes in the roof, so they have to design how to restructure the roof and re-stress uh, the roof so to hold the weight distribution that needs to be done. I don't like fourteen eight to do it. I geez, I. Well, you're not going to pay engineers nothing. <coughs> I mean, you know. And you put it out to bid? Did you put that? They put it out to bid. They did? They do all that work. So all the bidding specs, all that is done by them. We don't have to do it. No, I mean, who put out the bid for 14.8 for the engineers? Did you no, put that's it out? That's the price that they said. They're a company that works with us. Oh. They're part of GPI. I was going to ask if they were the yeah. county engineers. So they put it out to bid and then they decide who wins the bid or you, you they put it out to bid they decide uh, who is qualified to receive the bid we make the final determination but it's based on their recommendation okay. i'm not paying the forty thousand well then what do you want to do for a roof because we got to have a roof i want to talk i want to talk to some roofers okay that's fine cable <laughs> it i can't believe that these guys that it's worth fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars to tell us a roofer what they need to do to replace the roof. It seems to me that but a roofer who does this for a living, commercial mm -hmm. roofs, is mm -hmm. going to come and say, here's what's got to be done, here's what it's going to cost you guys to fix the roof, replace the roof. And how do you know that roofer? Because they've been doing it for the last 20 or 30 years or whatever. Well, I understand that, but I've also had roofs in the last 20, 30 years where a roofer said, this is what you need. And they ended up replacing the roof every five years because they didn't do it right. You know, the difference between this roof, again, the issue is... It's been patched, it's been cobbled, it's been everything. There's no insulation in it. And the issue is, is that if you don't have a design and you don't have it approved by an engineer, someone that's licensed engineer, if you just have a roofer come in, then all the liability rests on us if there's any issues. No, well, they have insurance. The roofer? Yeah. We won't hire one without it. So like, Here, here's the only thing I will do. I will, I will make the motion conditioned so we don't have to wait two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's not going to get done in the next six weeks or two months. Look, they're not going to replace the roof this winter. I wouldn't think. Is two weeks going to make a difference on hiring the architect? I don't think so. No, if you want to table, we can table. We'll table it till the next meeting. 
Okay. Hey, little chief clerk. Yes. I want to talk to Roofer in the meantime. Absolutely. Pick one whoever normally does our roofs. Okay. I know we've had a couple of two or three that have, you know, come and kept us going. Then how are you going to put it out to bid? Put what out to bid? You can't just bring a roofer in. <laughs> I want to ask a general to, to a roofer. Right. Do you need an architect to tell you how to replace our roof? Okay. If they say, yeah, and here's the reason why, I'm okay with it. Okay. But if he looks at me and says, Mike, I've been doing roofs, whoever it is, mm -hmm. for 30 years, I don't need an architect tell me how to replace a roof, I'm going to say no. Mm -hmm. I mean, because it seems to me that a guy who's done commercial roofs, mm -hmm. and who we've used two or three of them, would be able to look at our roof and say, here's what you got to do, and I can do it, and here's what it's going to cost you. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Well, it wouldn't in a normal world, but we don't have a normal world in this building. Well, then i got to be convinced this is not normal. Because you Before have structural issues in this building. And that's well, then there. he needs to, the roofer, he'll look at that, I would expect. Okay. We'll see what he says. If he says, I won't do it without, somebody's got to tell me, you know, what's going on, well, then I'm okay. Right. But I'm not okay right now. But my concern comes after that when he says, okay, I'll do it. And then we have to say to him, okay. We need yeah. to put this out to bid. What are we going to use for bid space? He sh he should. We're going to replace the roof. Here's what's wrong. Let him tell us. Here's what I think you need done. Okay. Right, I will. If he uh, convinces me, Mike, that's the way you did things 20 years ago when you did roofs. I need mean, okay. I'm okay with it then. Okay. All right. I'm fine. I'll suck at the table. On the number 16. Motion to approve item number 16 is listed on the agenda. Second that motion by Christian Jean Greco, signed by Christian Hall, purchased a 2012 Ford Escape used for the assessment office. Questions or comments? This is for the assessment people to go around <coughs> yes. using this vehicle? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item 17 is listed on the agenda. And motion by Christian Jean Greco, signed by Christian Hall, purchased a new electric dryer for the jail. Electric dryer or gas? I thought it was a gas dryer. It's a gas dryer. Okay. It's, it's gas? gas? Dryer. Yes. As an why it wasn't gas? Yes, it is gas. The jail uh, for the amount of $3,700. Questions so or comments? Yes. Gas, 10. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. 18. What's an art? Oh, I know. I remember. I remember. Yeah, I Motion approval item number 18 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian J. Greco, signed by Christian Hall, signed terms and conditions for the server jumpstart for the environmental systems research amount of 8,800. Questions or comments? Can you explain what that is? Can you explain that? Do you remember what it was? Yeah, it's for the GIS. It's that right. program we're going to get so that any everything is going to supposed to be able to interface with everybody else. Right. <coughs> and that's for what? To just do. What's GIS? Environmental study? No. GIS is the mapping for the county. And what kind of mapping are you doing? For what reason? For the assessment for 911. Didn't you do, didn't the you do the No, it's all, it's all part of it. It's all part of it. It's what we've been working on for the last year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. This is just the software to, yeah, to keep the program going. Oh, okay. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Right. Everybody. right. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Motion to approve item number 19 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Another two mil reduction, Scoop. Got it. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, second by Commissioner Hall to approve the millage for the 2015 year at 10.5 mils for general real estate, 0.33 for the library. It will be an equivalent of two mil reduction, which will be a credit from the Act 13 impact fee for the 2015 tax year. Total millage is 10.83. Questions or comments? So that's a two mil reduction on county tax? It's a two mil, it equals to a two mil reduction credit on the county tax. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion to uh, amend the appointment of George Connor that we made at the last meeting where we appointed him to 2000. 16, we're going to reappoint him to a term from January 1st, 2014. 
through December 31st, 2017. So those minutes will stand corrected and we'll also do the same with Bill Kelly. We're going to appoint him till term from 2017. I'll second that motion. Questions or comments? <coughs> Did we get that right? School? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item number 21 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jim Greco, second by Chris Hall, approve the resignation of Gene Kester Giovanni as the Farmer Director of the Conservation District. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 22. Okay, if she's resigning, why are we reappointing her in 22? That uh, that one runs out December 31st, effective right. for resignation. So I would assume you probably overlooked her actual reappointment at some point in time. I mean, if she resigns, she resigns. I don't think we need to reappoint. I think that needs to come out of there for now. Okay. Just Jim Kessler. Right All right. Motion approved item number 22 with that amendment. I'll second that. Questions or comments? So you're reappointing three people to the conservation district? Yeah, just to Casa Giovanni comes off. Oh, she comes off? Yeah. Just Jim Kessler and Mary Ann Warren. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item number 23 is listed on the agenda. I'll second that. Motion by Christian Jim Greco, signed by Christian Hall, to adopt the resolution opposing the expansion of the federal control under the Clean Water Act. Questions or comments? Do you have a copy of that resolution on the desk? Yeah, we'll have a copy for you. Has been signed. To oppose the expansion of the federal control, can you explain more what you're opposing? Same as we talked about the last meeting, the expansion of the EPA's abilities to control everybody's water on their property. All in favor? Aye. Uh, for 24, I haven't seen the reject. Have we got the? Have we got that slimmed down some? Motion to approve that with uh, that amendment to it. Okay. We'll we'll Come up with a better one than that. Okay. I'll second that. Questions or comments on 24? Yes. <laughs> Can you explain how this resolution is helping to protect the health, safety, and security of our citizens and community? And well, what, providing for other matters. Well, what this resolution does is it opposes basically the, uh, the forced uh, uh, relocation of illegal immigration into Susquehanna County in Pennsylvania. Uh, and that's how it protects the residents of Susquehanna County. Right now, according to the last number I had, they've got 100,000 uh, that they're going to move to the state of Pennsylvania. And they're moving them from where? 
from the borders off the uh, holding camps. They have holding camps near the borders? Some of them are holding camps, other ones that are just free that are just going to be given the ability to move freely. And so they're moving a certain amount per state? Is that what they're doing? That's what the allocation looks like. So you're allocating More in Pennsylvania than there's ever been. What the article I wrote said. Right. So there, your estimate is a hundred thousand for Pennsylvania. Right. Okay. Who decided they were moving in? Uh, the federal government. Is that that new executive order? Or was yeah. there an executive order yeah. for immigration? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Motion approved item number twenty-five. Is this done? I'll second that. Motion by Commissioner Jane Greco, second by Commissioner Hall. To approve item 25 on the agenda. Uh, God forbid the recycling center's uh, refuse needs. Questions or comments? So, what um, kind of a bid is that? Where, did, where does this for, stuff go? It's for garbage. Somebody okay. has to pick up their garbage, too. So, whatever is at the recycling center has to go somewhere. Yeah, it's not the recyclables, it's just garbage. Oh, it's just garbage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve item number 26. Listen on the agenda. I'll second that. We have four of them. There you go. The first one is from. And it's a bid for what? What are you bidding for? These are the bids for the the equipment bids for the uh, county um, uh, approved uh, contractor to do maintenance and, re and repairs. Apple construction is the first one, and there's a whole list we're going to have to go over. All right, we're off the table. So, then I'll word it at the next meeting. Construction, the next one is BT Adams LLC from Factoryville. Stony Mountain Tractor Parts. Mountain Tractor Parts and Kenrow Excavating. I was talking to a resident in Rush Township, and he's leased to Ca Chesapeake, and he mentioned that he's not getting any more royalties till March of 2015, as of a couple of months ago, because they're charging all these different production costs, and he owes money now. So until he owes Chesapeake the production costs or transportation costs, that they feel he owes, he won't get anything more. So can you explain, either the two of you, what he can do or who he can appeal to? Because there's still Chesapeake uh, royalty uh, owners out here in our county who are not getting any royalties and are getting, you know, below 12.5%, way below, and even getting nothing and owing money. Can you suggest anything? Yeah, they need to uh, hire an attorney and go after the uh, the company and the legislature. Is there any attorneys right now in the county who are working on this? Or who can he appeal to? Which attorneys? Is there a class action suit? Well, I can't recommend attorneys. But well, Do you know of any class action suit? I don't know. I know Bradford County may have something. You could contact Bradford County and see what they have going. So have you heard complaints also yourselves from from others in the county who are nope. explaining this kind of a situation in Rush Township? No. Nope. You haven't heard it? Nope. I told him to call you also and let you know what's nope. happening in the county. I haven't heard a word. Any other comments, questions? Yeah. And, and how are the windows coming along? I saw some of the new windows. They look pretty nice. Doing extremely well. Uh, we've already seen a, a big reduction in heat loss. Oh, yeah? So it'll be uh, very good. 
And how many more? You still have some to replace, looks like? Yeah, there's, they've got about eight or ten more to put in. And how old are those windows? They look really old when I was looking at them today. Some of them are probably 100 years old. Oh, yeah. Because they did look very, very old. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Right, you got something? I just wonder, do you have any more information or anything like in writing that I can read about the immigration thing? The easiest thing to do is just go right online. I'll look it up. And, and look at what's going on. Just I just wondered if they sent you anything. No, no. They, we're like the last to know. Yeah. The very, very last to okay. know. So and do you have a copy of that resolution for us to we look at? We will have. Uh, it will be available at the next meeting. The next meeting? Yeah. All right. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. All right. Stop. 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 Stop.